Hello everyone, I'm Alex from 3D Printer Out 2. This is our getting started guide for the Maker Gear M2. Let's get started. First, you will need to update the drivers for your Windows machine to recognize your device, your printer. So plug the printer into the wall and then connect it to your computer with the attached, the included USB cable. To download the drivers, go to the instructions on the Maker Gear website, select the M2 assembled, go to using your M2 with the open source toolchain, then scroll down to the Windows driver section. Go to the Rambo site with the link provided and then download the most recent version. For us this is February 17, 2013. So download it as a zipped file. Go to your download section and unzip the file or extract all. Once you've done that you can go to your device manager. Somewhere in your other devices you should see something titled Rambo. If you right click this and click update driver software you can browse your computer for software. Now go to the section where you downloaded your folder with the new drivers. It should be in the download section and, and click on it. And click OK. Click Next to start it. Uh, a pop-up will appear and you can click Install and wait for it to finish installing. Once this has installed you should have its recent drivers and you should now be ready to connect. Next, you'll need to update the firmware for your printer. To do this, you'll need the Arduino software. First, go to the Arduino website and click the Downloads tab. From there, scroll down and click the Windows Installer button. This will download an executable file to your Downloads folder. Once you've run the file, you'll have the Arduino software installed. You can also download our firmware, the firmware update that we've designed, and we'll put a link below. Once you've done this, open up the Arduino software and open up the file that you downloaded should be titled Marlin. Let's see. Once you've opened up the Marlin, you'll go into the tools and you'll need to update the board. The board for your printer should be an Arduino Mega 2560 or Mega 80K. You will also need to update the serial port. If you don't remember what serial port you're connected to, open up your device manager and under the port section it should tell you which port you're on. Ours is COM6. From there, Select COM6 and then click upload in the Arduino software. After it uploads the software, you should be ready to roll. Hey guys, this is Philip from 3D Printer How To. Next, we're going to run the filament into the filament guide and tighten the tensioner. Find the end of the filament on your filament rule. Slide it through the back of this filament guide, up through the small hole. Use the tubing included in your kit, slide the filament into the tubing, until the filament comes out the end. Then, you will want to cut the end of the filament so that it is at an angle. Use a pair of scissors to do this. Once you have a nice angled cut, you can slide it into the filament drive, into this little hole on top of the small fan. After you've slid the filament into the filament guide, you can tighten the bolt. I'm going to use a tool from our tool holder. The link is in the description for the tool holder. Tighten the filament tensioner until you have a little bit of tension on the filament. Do not tighten it too much as you can damage and strip the filament. Next, we're going to prepare our bed. If you're printing with PLA, you're going to want to use blue painter's tape without any heat. If you're printing with ABS, heat your bed up to about 100 degrees C. To start putting painter's tape onto the bed, remove the clips from the corners of the bed. Next, pull strips of painter's tape and stick it down to the table. Make sure you do not get any air bubbles underneath the paint underneath the tape as it will affect your build quality. Try to line them up as close as you can to each other without overlapping. After you've applied tape to the entire build surface, you can reattach the binder clips into the corners. After you've done these steps, you're ready to print. Thank you for watching our getting started video. 
you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.